All right, so today we're gonna have some fun. We're gonna do a little science experiment here. We're just uh, pumping out the last load of concrete here. And what we're gonna do when we're all wrapped up, we're gonna pump back into the mixer, but we're gonna add some brown sugar to the hopper, kill this concrete for days, weeks, months, and eternity, hopefully. But anyhow, uh, what we're gonna do it's precisely is, uh, this particular ready mix outfit, like many other ready mix outfits, sometimes the leftover concrete will go back to the precast plant where they will build things with it and actually use it. So what they don't want is they don't want us actually pumping sugared up concrete into the ready mix truck. Otherwise they go to pull their forms apart a couple days later for whatever they poured and it just falls apart. So we're gonna go through the whole procedure here as to how we're gonna pump back into the mixer but uh, mitigate any chance of getting any sugared up concrete into the truck itself. So once we've pumped off this last load here, we'll, uh, we'll check back in and we'll go through the step-by-step -step process as to how we do this. Okay, here we go. It's that time. James is gonna demonstrate to us perfectly. Show us the product in hand, James. Yellow sugar from Costco. Four bucks a bag. So we're gonna put about uh, two fistfuls. Can you grab two fistfuls? A precise unit of measure. A little bit over on the other side there too. There we go, beautiful. So about a quarter of a bag we put in there. Now we'll spray a little bit of water in here too. Just a little bit. The idea is as we're pumping out here, the S-tube and the auger will agitate this stuff up and, and mix the sugar in quite nicely. Just like so. Perfect. We'll fire our lid down here. And we're gonna pump out through the five inch to four inch taper into the mixer, not through a rubber hose. Um, we all know it can happen with a rubber hose if you hit an air pocket or a plug. Bad things, that's what. So he's gonna pump this down all the way back into the mixer. And then when we come down to suck the sponge back, we'll put a handful of sugar in the elbow with some water and we'll suck that back too. As such that all the concrete in our material cylinders, S2 and swing gate also has been killed with sugar. So the way that we've done this with the hopper being as low as it is, there's no possible way that that concrete in the hopper is gonna work its way out all the way through the boom out the end of the taper into the mixer. So all the concrete that ends up back in that mixer is good reusable concrete. And the stuff that's in the pump that's been killed with sugar, probably work its way, yeah, maybe up into about the turret. But that's about as far as it'll go. And the stuff that's sitting in those last couple sections of boom, well, once we suck back the sugar and water through the elbow in front of our sponge, it'll take, take care of all that stuff. So we'll end up with a hopper full of concrete that's not gonna set for days. Um, when we're done here, I'll flip the lid up. I'll take a sample of the concrete that's in the hopper. I'm gonna put it in a glad bag and I will uh, take it home as my little pet project. I'm gonna check on it in a couple days and uh, we'll see if it's hard or not. I would bet lots and lots of money that it's not going to be. And even if it does hydrate somewhat, it will have zero strength to the point where you can just crumble it with your hands. So anyhow, I'll uh, check back in once we're pulling the sponge back here. All right, so we pulled back one sponge. Now we're gonna throw a handful of sugar in the elbow. Nice. And he's gonna load it up with water and then we'll do our second sponge. And that sugary water will work its way all the way back through the boom. And the water will work its way back into the S-tube and up into the barrels so everything is nicely killed. And then once we're done with that, I will uh, flip the lid up here and I'll take a sample of concrete from the hopper. And I, uh, like I said, I'll, I'll store it at home on the kitchen table, somewhere where it looks pretty and my wife can appreciate it. And I will check on it every couple days diligently. And uh, we will see uh, how it cures or fails to cure more accurately. All right, so here we go. This is our hopper full of sugared up concrete. I'm gonna take a little sample here. We'll actually take a couple of these. Put this into a bag.
Take one more. And as you can see, it has been pre-labeled sugar. So I'm going to keep this at home and I'm going to check in on it. And we'll see how it looks in a couple days here. All right, so this technique here with the sugar, we've used this for years. Uh, we used to do a lot of barge work where we put the pump and mixers on a barge, travel two and a half hours out to a remote area, pump a few loads of concrete, and then we'd run about a uh, three hour trip back and then another one hour drive before we could wash out. So it's about a four hour time lapse before we're actually able to wash out. And uh, this is how we sort of came across the brown sugar thing, trying to find the best way to kill the concrete, such that when we got to the washout area, it was nice and easy to clean out. So yeah, this is tried, tested, true, best way to do it. James, what do you think about the sugar? Do you think it's gonna work? Amazing. You're confident? Best thing Excited? ever. Excited? Best thing ever. Right. Yeah, right there, it's the best thing, yeah. You, can, you sense it, the enthusiasm, he's very genuine in his feelings and thoughts, so. Anyhow, that's, uh, that's it for today's video. Thanks again for watching. And uh, oh, my disclaimer, I should add this at the end. Uh, if you're gonna play around with sugar and concrete, make absolutely 1000% sure that it doesn't ever end up anywhere structural or finished because um, you could have huge, huge liability on your hands. So this really is just for day's end. You know you're going to wash out. You're not going straight to another job. Uh, this isn't for if you're stuck waiting on a balance and you want to slow the concrete down in between. Uh, there's other products for that. But uh, this is when you want to kill concrete dead forever and you're absolutely not going to use it again. So over and out. All right, so here we are about uh, 16 hours later and you thought I was joking about putting this on the kitchen table. Surprise, I wasn't. So there you go, it's still soft. What I'm gonna do here, I'm actually gonna uh, open up this bag. I'll let this breathe a little bit. Just to try and accelerate the process so there's not any uh, Questions or naysayers claiming that because the bag was sealed is what caused it from curing out. As you can see, that's still, it's still mush. So we'll check back on it uh, on tomorrow. On my little, my little baby here, my little pet project. I think it looks kind of good there. What do you think? Anyhow, see you in a bit. All right, so here we go. It's showtime. It is exactly. 49 hours since we took this uh, sample of sugared up concrete. I'll just zoom in here, get a little closer. Still in the bag, labeled sugar. And it has hydrated out, the water's just evaporated out. This has been indoors for the last two days. Um, not at the kitchen table the entire time. There was uh, a little bit of pushback from other family members about keeping it at the kitchen table. But it Concrete stays on the table till tomorrow, till midday. We're gonna move it somewhere else. Shady's coming over today. Oh, <laughs> so the bag of concrete can't be on the table? No. Yeah. Kitchen table, but it has been indoors the entire time. That I can promise you. So you can see, this is still completely pliable by hand. What I'm gonna do here, I'll set this camera down. I'll dump this out of the bag. Let me see what we got. So let me get set up here. Okay, here we go. As I promised. See what you got here? This absolute junk. This will never set, this will never amount to anything. So that's what sugar does to concrete. And unlike a lot of other retarders, even when the concrete's old and not fresh, sugar is still completely effective. Even with the hottest, most nuclear load of concrete, sugar will kill it dead. Other products like Delvo, Delay Set, things like that, generally you've got to add them to the mix within about 90 minutes of it being batched. Uh, with this stuff, you got as much time as you want or need. Um, so what I'm going to do here, I'm going to add a little bit of water into this bag. Just to show you that all that's really happened to this stuff is the water's evaporated out of it. If I put some water in here, adjust the camera here one more time, get a little better angle. 
open water in here. And I mix this around by hand. And I'll throw this stuff back in too. So you can see what we got here. Hopefully you can see from that angle. Just regular concrete. So yeah, that is the best and most effective way to kill concrete forever. I would almost venture to say that if you put enough sugar in the hopper, and enough being half a bag, it really doesn't take all that much, you could probably park the pump for the weekend and come in on Monday morning and still wash it out. I'm not going to recommend trying that, but that is how confident I am in this stuff. So, anyhow, that is today's video, that's today's tip. Get yourself a bag of brown sugar, golden, yellow, yellow sugar, whatever. Uh, the only thing I found with white sugar is it doesn't seem to dissolve in with water uh, quite as quickly as the brown stuff does. Um, so it's kind of tough to get it mixed in as uniformly with the concrete in the hop or the pump. So I recommend brown or yellow sugar. And uh, always keep a bag on the pump. Great for emergencies. And uh, yeah, it'll, uh, make you, uh, it'll make for easier days over the course of your career. So that's it. Till next time, over and out.